What up? It's PBJ. I'm out biking again. You already know what it is. Uh, you already know what the deal is if you watch this channel. I'm out biking. I got no hands on the, uh, what you call it, steering right now, handlebars. And I'm feeling good. You know, all this progress I've made on biking and my legs. It honestly feels like nothing now when I'm biking. Like before I was really, really struggling. Just passed over some. I was really struggling before. But now like, I'm feeling amazing. You know, took a day or two off the biking. Maybe just a day, I think. But hey, I'm honestly feeling really good. And you know, this just goes to show. It's about the journey, not the end goal. And you know, it's a nice day out when Everybody's outside and having a good time and down near the park where I live. There's a huge amount of people right now Must be some kind of event that I missed because it's like what almost three o'clock right now. I uh, I woke up Spent some time with my mom. Hold up. All right. I didn't want to get copyrighted there <laughs> anyway um, Yeah, I was spending some time with my mom when I woke up after I took a shower and stuff and then I uh, what I do after that? I got ready, then I went on my bike ride, pretty much. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty good day. I mean, what I like about it though is it's like cloudy and it has spurts of sunniness. Cause I'm like low key sunburned, but it's not like a bad sunburn. Cause I've been very mindful about how much time I'm spending directly in the sunlight. So basically, I'm only spending about. 50 minutes or so in the sunlight per day so I don't get sunburned so I can go out the next day and work just as hard and in those 50 minutes I bike hard like there are these little segments where I start recording video clips and whatnot but when I say I bike hard I mean like I am biking rather hard and uh, pretty much during my bike rides I'm like exhausting myself to the point where afterward I'm actually like unable to like stand a lot of the time and you know it honestly is a great workout i recommend biking because it's more fun than walking it can be and i don't know it just feels like better on the quads really like feel my quads like my quads have straightened straight up gotten bigger just from biking really hard we have to bike really hard of course you can't just you know bike like a wimp i suppose now I didn't record a lot of my bike ride. I know, I know. But listen, I just had a fantastic bike ride. You know, the kind where your legs get so sore you don't want to stand anymore. That kind of bike ride. And let me tell you, getting out and enjoying the sun is nice. It really is. It, it is so refreshing. Like, I've been more in the present moment this past week than I have all year, it feels like. Jeez. And that's partly my thing and that's partly me being you know not in my room locked away with my own thoughts type of thing you know because it was too cold to go outside before really unless I wanted to freeze or put on five jackets which I was in town with but I still got out there point is though is I've been feeling really good since uh, I've been feeling really good since I've made the choice to get out so that's what I'm trying to get y'all to do as well so one thing I heard, I was kind of, you know, looking at social media, whatever, chilling for a second. And one thing I heard that I haven't heard in a while is you never really lose until you stop trying. Now, let me put this in perspective for you. If that just sounds like a cliche quote, you never really lose until you stop trying setback after setback, right? You could lose your girlfriend. You know, somebody could, you know, something really bad could happen. Somebody could die. You could lose your job. You could anything. You get a new job. You can, you know, do all these things that you can make it better for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because all these bad things, you know, they're going to happen. You know, it's, it's inevitable. But the second you're like, you know what? No matter what the bad thing is that happens, I'm gonna keep on going. 
or even if it's not a bad thing, even if it's just you giving up, right? Like this YouTube channel, for example. I've been working on this for almost three years now. And before that, I, you know, I made YouTube channels in the past and you know, I was a little kid and then I wasn't happy with them, deleted them, whatever. But I'm here where I am now because I never gave up. Now we're at 1,600 subscribers. It's what I got from not giving up and persevering and working hard. Excuse me. So you literally cannot lose unless you stop trying. There's infinite opportunities in life. Literally infinite. Like beyond infinite. Like you cannot lose an opportunity pretty much because there's always another one. Now the thing about that is though, that's if you live in abundance, right? That's if you understand that these opportunities are out there and you pursue them, right? Or you create them even. But, you know, don't ever give up though, you know? Because you never know what you could have achieved. You ever see that picture with the two miners and the one on the top, he just like, um, what you call it? He's walking away because um, he just like gave up and there was diamonds right there. And the other one at the bottom is mining and the diamonds are right there. Like you could have found all this diamonds, all these diamonds, if you would have just kept mining. <sighs> what up y'all? So basically, um, I realized I haven't really showed you too many workouts since I've been back. So I'm gonna go ahead, hit a little workout, nothing too crazy right now, but just gonna hit some like seated curls, maybe some reverse curls, and probably some JM presses too. But we've actually upped the weight since the last time I talked about it. Um, it's at 82 pounds now, so let's get it going, y'all. I'm not sitting on an angle that helps with the view, but let's see. Right here, right here. nice about using some heavier weight is you'll get stronger that way plus some strength and I don't know I've always liked strength a lot like just being strong and everybody kind of has their different reason for me most of the reason why I started getting big in the first place was so that people would think twice before you know bullying me and absolutely making me feel bad all the time and it's a nice feeling now that they do think twice you know what I'm saying or you know they don't at all really and it's a nice feeling because so much of the time people you don't realize that everyone's insecure you don't realize that all these people out here that bully other people are some of the most insecure people ever out there. And once you realize that, you know, you don't feel so powerless. I used to feel powerless all the time. And then I realized, you know, these people, they make it seem a certain way. You know, it's easy to make something seem a certain way, right? But when it comes to actually being it, it's a different story, right? You know, you can make it seem like you're, I don't know, really intimidating and all this other stuff, but then not be at all, right? You can just be bluffing. And there's a lot of bluffing out there, but 
just take away from this, what I'm saying right now is just realize that everyone's insecure. Every single person out there has something, right? A lot of things probably with a lot of them, but everybody's got something they're insecure about. And once you realize that, you won't let it get to you as much. And as for me, that's what helped me. So it might help you too, but at least I hope it did. Yeah, I think it's a nice sentiment. I'll try and end up of these girls though. Actually, I'll hit some jam presses real quick. Let me try that because it should be good. Yeah, 82 pounds, that should be pretty tough. Yeah, y'all, I mean, I've been feeling really good about the physique lately. Really good about my progress. Feeling really good about life in general. It's all been coming along, and I think that once you put your mind to it, you know, it will come along. Excuse me. And once you stop focusing on that end goal so much, you kind of start focusing on the journey. And from there, it all just comes to you. At least in my experience. So do with that what you will. Like, comment, subscribe. Get the merch if you want to support me further. The Stay Jack merch in the description. And yeah. Stay jacked. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.